Hey there friends, it's Melanie Ferguson with Southern Crush at Home. I hope to inspire you to create and decorate a home that you love and happy Labor Day. How is everybody today? I hope you enjoyed your day off. Hopefully you were off work today and didn't have to do anything but relax. That would hopefully be awesome. Um, we we traveled a little bit and um, went to eat and now we're, we're binge watching a show. My daughter and I are watching something on Netflix. Hey, Julie. Hey, Char. How are y'all this evening? Hey, Christina. So as you hop on, say hey. We are going to do what I said is the quickest, fastest um, pumpkin project ever because I got to get back to this show, y'all. It's really Hey, Donna, Betty, Jennifer, there's going to be a lot of new people on here. A lot of people um, are going to be new. So everybody be friendly and greet everybody. And you know the drill. I'll come back and say, say stuff too. Um, yes. Hey, Gina and Nancy and Sheila. How are y'all this evening? Happy Labor Day evening. Are y'all ready to do a quick project and then get back to your relaxing? Hey, Teresa. So the first thing I want to share, is just going to be a hoop pumpkin. I know you guys have probably seen several of these, but um, this is mine. This is mine. So, and that's the whole fun thing about crafts, right, y'all? I mean, people um, do them all the time, but people do put their own spin on them, don't you think? Hey, Debbie and Charlene and Kim. All right, so some of you have been following me for a while, and you know that I like to go to the thrift store, and then I usually do a reveal or an unbagging of all the things that I got. This is something I got at the thrift store not too long ago. I don't know if y'all, if I even, if I even unbagged it for you, but it was $1.39, so that's always fun and exciting for a bunch of you guys to see what I paid for the project supplies. But this is just, I'm gonna show y'all, it's just a piece of sweater, okay? So you can use an old sweater that you're not using anymore, or if you go to a secondhand store, you can find them. This one, um, you love the video with my hair in foils, Donna. Yes, did it, did it work? It's a lot better than it was. It's a lot better than it was. So this is one of these, y'all. I've never had one of these, but it's like a sweater sleeve scarf. You put your hand in it and I guess you put it around you and then you put you put your hand in the other side or something it's kind of pretty perfect y'all it's like for for just to have sleeves but we're gonna use it for the project yes Jenny thank you so much you guys are so sweet to do that I appreciate you all right so let's get this party started I am going to just take the tag off oh look it was marked down from 259 <laughs> from one whatever to, to 139. All right, so all we're gonna do is take our, um, these, this is just an, it's Anchor Brand. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's Anchor Brand. And uh, this probably, y'all, I can't remember, but probably just came from Walmart or, uh, <laughs> yes, or Hobby Lobby or somewhere, somewhere. Oh, thank you, Donna. So no wonder you're a stylist. So these came with just this little blue stuff on here. I'm just gonna take it off real quick. Hey, Michelle, I hope you're feeling better. Hope you rested up today. Started feeling better. So if you have to loosen it, you can loosen it a little bit. This is just an embroidery hoop. You just take it apart. You've never seen one of these, Charlene? They're super fun, so fun to be, make and be creative. You can use any materials you want, but I wanted to do sort of a farmhouse uh, color. Thank you, Marla, you're so sweet. So I picked gray. Y'all, this is gray, and my house is gray. So uh, you're just gonna take one part of the hoop and put it behind here. And then you're gonna put, well, I'm gonna put this part on top. And then you just put the other piece that doesn't have the handle underneath and you just pop it down. There's really nothing to this, y'all. Kids can do it. Anyone can do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to loosen it a little bit more. 
because the sweater is really thick. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's not loosening enough. Oh, because I'm tightening it. It's really hard to tell. Thank you, Nancy. I appreciate you. Hey, Nikki and Berta. All right, I'm going to get some more of this blue stuff off. All right, got to loosen it some more, y'all. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. See how I'm loosening it? And I think I have it loosened. <laughs> Hold on, do you see that right there? It's going the right direction. Oh, thank you, Debbie. So let's get this on here. Woo, it is taking the whole thing. I'm gonna loosen it a little bit more. I just don't want it to come all the way out of the hoop. All right. This isn't as tight as I want it, so I'm gonna have to loosen it more. <laughs> I'll get it loosened here. Thank you, Shelly, I appreciate you. All right. So we have the, the regular loop down here, and I'm just kind of going with the grain of the pattern. And then I have this all the way loosened, as far as it'll go without completely uh, coming out of the socket. Y'all, I'm gonna stretch it a little bit because I wanted it tight. There. Then you just make sure you're pushing it through. So easy. You're from Kentucky too, Jennifer. Who else on here was from Kentucky? All right, so this is where we're at. It's so cute, y'all. So easy, so, so easy. I'm just tightening it now, okay? Tightening it up a little. I didn't realize it would be so tricky with the sweater. I've not done the sweater before. I've totally done the fabric before, but not the sweater. And then we're just gonna take our treasured golden fabric scissors, fabric only and we are gonna cut around the uh, circle here. And just kinda start with a square around the whole ornament. And I could have cut the square out before, but I didn't. So now I've just got this. And then I'm just gonna trim it up. So I'm gonna trim it up into a circle while we chat. Hey Chasada, how are you? How are you? Yeah, y'all tell me where you're from because I know a lot of people on here tonight are gonna be new, new to the page. So, if y'all are new to the page, I'm Melanie Ferguson. I have a uh, home decor DIY projects uh, blog. It's called Southern Crush at Home. In fact, so many of you guys always ask about my gallery wall behind me. It's really long. It goes the length of the whole wall. Wait, that's not it. Here we go. It goes all the way down there. This is for the new people. So if you want a copy of the template of the guide, it's a gallery wall guide, um, go to southerncrushathome.com and be sure to enter your information on that home page. It has a little place and you will get a copy of the guide. It's not gonna be instant because I don't have it ready till um, the first part of this week, which is today, today's Monday, but um, it'll actually be ready um, maybe even tomorrow. So, but it's not an instant download yet, but I will get it to you. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. All right, so I have trimmed the back of this, okay? This is what it looks like. This is what that looks like. It's kind of ratty. I can trim it even nicer later, but I'm just, for y'all's purposes, wanted y'all to see. And then we're gonna decorate it, okay? So this is just a stick from my yard. Just get, grab a stick, and I can't decide how long. Let me see. I think I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna cut it. You just have to decide which way you like better. I think I like this better and I think I'm gonna make it a little bit long. So I'm gonna do it about that long. What's that y'all? Like two inches, inch and a half? And did we decide what size? People, I know they're gonna ask me. Y'all. 
I have the glasses. I've been not wearing them, all right? So I'm gonna see what it says. This embroidery hoop is a four inch, okay? It's a four inch embroidery hoop. So I'm gonna guess that this is a three inch, um, a three inch stick. Seriously, y'all, I don't measure anything. And as you get to know me, you'll know I don't measure. So um, math is not my friend. And we're just gonna glue this on, all right? So I'm grabbing my hot glue gun and I'm just going to stick some glue up here. Whoa. And I'm just gonna put, um, the glue went where it wanted. We're gonna stick the, um, stick the stem up here. You're anticipating Hurricane Dorian, yes. I'm so worried about all the people in the East. Okay, that's gonna have to dry for a minute, y'all. But in the meantime, you can just decorate this however you want. Don't look, I'm using my fabric scissors for something. Shh, you didn't see it. We're just gonna add some greenery, all right? I'm just trying to shove it in here with the, with the hot glue but I am gonna add more hot glue. Well, I thought I could squeeze it between the twig and the project. Maybe, maybe not. And yes, y'all, this is Holly. This is Holly from a Christmas project. <laughs> so I don't have it on here perfect, but you can kind of see. That's it, y'all. Hold on. I can't decide about how I want the, the leaves. Something to that effect. Something like that. You know what? I'm just trying to decide if I just want the leaves on there or if I wanted to put uh, some twine there. You could always dress this up with twine on top of here and glue it on, but um, you definitely don't have to. Is the twig just glued to the top? Yes, the twig is just glued here to the top. I was holding it till it, till it stuck, but it's stuck now. What other questions? Um, I'm thinking of just leaving the, the leaves like that. So this came from a Christmas um, floral spray. But this is my take on a farmhouse embroidery hoop pumpkin. Easy, easy, easy. This is the back side so that you guys can see. Nothing to it, nothing. And y'all, how many of these could I make with this sweater? I've got sweater for days. I could probably make 30 of these with that sweater. But you can make them all sizes with your um, different size hoops, okay? And so a cute little fun way to stand this up, well, I'm probably gonna lean it in a tiered tray or on my table. Oh yes, Shirlene, I do think a little piece of raffia would be perfect. Let me see what I have here. I have some, um, do you hear that? I have some twine. Let me see what the twine looks like. I know it's not gonna be as good as the raffia, but just to give it some sort of softness. Hang tight. If you can imagine, well, I kind of blobbed that up, but you can imagine if you add some, some twine, I mean not twine, you add some um, raffia here, how cute that would look. I'll do that and I'll post a picture. How about that? Uh, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, a way to stand it up. So you could totally put, um, I could glue this other half of the stick to the back, right down here. Where am I? It's hard to do it backwards and backwards. Right down here. 
and that would make it stand. Or I could take a piece of wood and glue to the back for it to stand. How cute's that? Thank you guys for the hearts. I appreciate it. I was reading a comment. Thank you, sweet. Um, I can't read and talk. So listen, I'm gonna let y'all have the rest of your Labor Day and you guys have an entire, an amazing evening and I will catch you guys later this week. Talk to you later. Bye. Mm -hmm.